Hey everyone, Joe here from Action Welcome to a slate of the channel. It's kind of a smaller, well, not really a smaller one, more like a, a, a off the cuff one. Because when I did the one for January, I was a little bit more stiff because I kind of wanted that to be a little bit more presentable. If you know what I mean? This is a little bit more like I'm loose. We're we're in the we're in the middle of the year. I'm already like you know what? Let's boogaloo. Um, there's not really much to talk. Well, actually, there is a, a fair bit to talk about. I keep contradicting myself. I apologize. This is this is the nature of our channel. We contradict ourselves a lot of times. But hey, you know it's it's the ride. What what are you expecting? Um, we're updating you on some stuff for the next three months, next quarter. Of action x here in terms of the content what you should be expecting from us and yeah so with that being said let's go so let's start out with what's in the tube um so far i'm so happy doing rookie nancy dream walker Be been very happy with the with doing those reviews hopefully you have been too um so far we do not quite know when they're ending their current seasons just yet i know we know nancy dream walker have been renewed for more seasons so we will be reviewing those in the next television season, whenever that begins, because we're still in COVID times. COVID is, I, I do believe we're, we're ending the ending this whole pandemic. I do believe we're in the latter half of it, but we're still not of the woodworks yet, let alone TV shows are now ready to like just switch back over to how things were before. So, but, but at least we know they're coming back. But however, we do not know currently if, when they're going to end. Um, I'm 99% certain we will be just going throughout April as Per normal, I think May will start to see some of the some of the shows ending a little bit, so keep that in mind. But until then, we will be producing rookie Nancy Drew and Walker episode reviews each and every Monday, Thursday, and Friday mornings, as we've been doing so far since January. So thank you for the support there, as well as whenever we're not um, doing those reviews, we will be doing a quick impressions to kind of fill in the gap for the time being. Um, I'm still watching shows. There's a lot of shows I'm watching, so there's still plenty more quick impressions to come. And um, also, recently we hit our 169th episode. Go check that out. Um, we talked about Zine's The Jump Off. So, um, yeah, we still got a bunch of other shows to talk about on, on that when it comes to... I, I, when, when I said on episode 69 now, episode 169, it's like I always... I never believe we're going to get to the next milestone, and then we do. So I, I can't wait till we get to 269 by, by hopefully next year. I don't know. I, I, let's, let's see what happens. But, um... Speaking of what happens next, for what's in the two, um, we talked about back in January that there are other shows we've reviewed back in 2020 that are that will be returning this year, but we don't have release dates yet. Well, we have a couple of updates for you. So first of all, we will be reviewing the second season of High School Musical, the musical of the series. That will be coming out, I believe, I'm going to probably butcher this. It comes back May... 18th mean that we will be reviewing each and every episode every Saturday morning after a brand episode on Friday nights, but that's going to start a little bit later. I'm just confirming that we are reviewing that, that season. It's 12 episodes long this time around, so we will be going for a full 13 week run. Um, so I'm excited. I'm very excited to get back into this world. Um, we will be doing the High School Musical 3 review before to kind of get us back into that time slot. So um, yeah, I'm very excited. So Again, since we don't know when about Rookie, we don't know about Walker, we don't know about Nancy Drew, when those shows are ending for the current season, we, I, I, I guess for a little, for like a, a little tiny way, we will have four reviews every week for the time being. I, I highly doubt we'll go any longer than that. Also, just to say is that um, normally, um, I talked about this with George um, off camera, um, we, we're, we're trying to cap out at three reviews. Like, we, we're not going to go beyond three reviews a week. Like, we're going to do four because we, we, We've known that that um, shows and COVID pandemic, it, it just the shows are gonna come out whenever. There, there, there's literally no um, there's no prediction anymore on that. It's when it's done, it's done. So with that, we will do four. But in the case like Rookie or Nancy Drew or Walker, either goes on another hiatus or sorry about the microphone, or just doesn't or we're, we're just wrapped up. We're not gonna add another show just to fill in that time slot. We're gonna try and keep the three. So. Until then, um, that that will be kind of like the the way we're gonna work things around. No word on Perry Mason season two yet. Um, I, I I heard some casting news, but that's basically as much as I've heard. So I don't even believe they're in production yet. So if I have to make a guess, it'll probably won't be till the fall. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get back into that world. Very excited to see that. Um, no update on Doom Patrol season three. I know they are in production right now. I know where Titans is coming out in July. So if HBO Max wants to be smart, I could see that as another fall release. But again. We don't know. We literally don't know. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, but then as for Stargirl, watch it before I talk about Stargirl, I got to talk about Kitty Clean. So I never publicly confirmed this on any of the, uh, of any other what's in the tube or um, 
anywhere else on the on the channel. Um, you normally when we do a what's in the tube, like an episode by episode basis, normally ninety five percent of the time they are renewed. Sad to say, Katie Clean has been canceled. Um, it's been canceled for a while. I never really admitted it to myself because we live in this world where revivals are a thing. Um, how Last Man Standing for like a whole year was you know, off the air from, because ABC canceled it, then Fox picked it up for another season the next, the next time around. So it was like, okay, thank God. So, but I, I, for me right now, considering the fact Katie Clean's only options were back on the CW, which already was canceled by there and HBO Max, which sadly the, the campaign it didn't really work. Um, it's not to say. Um, so there will be no, that we will, sadly that is going to be the only series for now, hopefully um, that has been canceled. I'm, I'm very sad by it. I'm very sad. The predictions video we did, I was so excited to see where those characters were going to go next in season two. And um, it just, it wasn't meant to be, you know, uh, I'm, I'm very bummed out. I'm very sad by it the cast was awesome um the writing sometimes was like a little bit murky but they did the best they could and i really wish they could have gotten the second season i'm very happy though that riverdale in its current season is starting to bring back katie clean characters in a way you're speaking like they're doing with um they they they, they did talk about that they were planning on bringing in katie clean characters and sabrina characters gonna like honor those honor those shows and like admit that yes we are in the same continuity we are still in the same universe I'm very happy by that. Um, if there was ever a proper full-on Katie Clean crossover episode where we do get the cast and it actually does continue their stories, we will review that episode of Riverdale. If it does happen, Stranger Things happen in television, so hopefully we 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 might get a chance to see that. You know, I think in the last Riverdale episodes I I, I watched um, at the time of this recording, I think Katie Clean, the, the actress, she actually made a cam a vocal cameo on Riverdale, which like. This could be sending up the seeds, but we are in a COVID pandemic world, so that probably is going to hinder some plans for a while. So, um, but I'm very, I, I think I'm very hopeful that we will see some sort of crossover there. But, uh, but until then, um, I'm, I'm reserving thoughts. But until then, yeah, we're we're not doing. There's no Katie Clean season two reviews coming up. So, sorry about that. Uh, but what is coming up for season two reviews? Last but not least, of the current existing shows we are doing is Star Girl. Star Girl is coming back this summer on the CW. We do not have a returning date yet because. Everything's out of order. Everything's uh, like just all over the place with the schedule for the CW. How they just they did five episodes of Superman Lois, an amazing show, and then they're bringing back Supergirl for like I, I, at least eight or ten episodes. I'm like, oh my god, like this this schedule's been out of whack. Um, if I have to guess, it'll probably be July, maybe August. Summer's like a very it's it, it's a very um bro a very general term. It could be anywhere in summer. So. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm very excited to get back into that world of Star Girl. They got um, John Wesley Ship coming back as the Flash, so I'm very excited to start seeing some Arrowverse stuff. But technically, it's not Arrowverse within. Like I think, I think the, the way it classifies Arrow, like everything's in its own, everything's in the multiverse. Everything counts. Everything's canon. It's just that Star Girl's kind of like Arrowverse neighbor. <laughs> That makes sense. I don't, I don't know. Because you, normally we, we're not trying to do any of the Arrowverse stuff because we want to save that for season by season review with Sal, which I'll get to in a moment. But that was sort of the plan. But then Stargirl happened. And then I was like, I really want to review this show. And, uh, you know, that's going to be the one ex exception going forward. But normally, like, we didn't do Superman and Lois because as much as we love Superman and Lois, you know, um, we, we, we want to save that. That that feels like something we, we should talk about when the whole story's done, if you know what I mean. So... That's the reason why we did have a couple of other things planned for what's in the tube to do my uh, another um, ep uh, another review per week. Um, but however, so far, because of conflicts with scheduling and, you know, just like difficulties in our lives, we're just not going to complicate ourselves right now to do another show. An another fourth review so early on in terms of like where we're going with right now. So that's kind of where we're at right now. But however, on to the season by season content, um, we have return dates. What's in the two? We'll be reviewing every episode, every uh, every Arrow season will be returning with its second half this summer. So when Star Girl returns, at least for five weeks, we're you're going to be pairing that up with our with our Arrow reviews, starting with season five, um, going into the final season, and then after that, we will be doing a complete series of review at the end. It will be week by week. We haven't started recording them yet because we've been very busy. Sal has Sal and I have been very busy people, but we would we're hopefully to get the first um. The first batch done um, this month coming up, so um, hopefully we will be on the roll with that. We don't have an um, no; it will be coming out this summer, same week with Star Girl. So we're gonna have Arrow and Star Girl combined Power Hour. Let's go! Can't wait to do that. The first 
solo superhero series in the Arrowverse, and then the newest solo superhero series in the Arrowverse. So, well, the Arrowverse multiverse, um, as some people will call it. Or the CW versus sadly the CW calls it. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, as for Doctor Who, we will be returning with part two of our every Doctor Who series review this winter. We are very, that's a very early as announcement, but just going to say like, you know, we're just going to get it out of the way. Yeah, we're, we're going to, we're going to hopefully get these Doctor Who reviews out by the end of the year. Kind of like a, like the holiday specials, like, you know, how they release the Doctor Who holiday specials every around Christmas slash New Year's. So that's our kind of our goal. So we will be back in November for another run. We haven't recorded any of those yet. We're way early on that. I didn't start watching Doctor Who series five yet, but I'm very excited to jump back into that universe. I know George is very excited for me to start seeing the, um, the Matt Smith run of Doctor Who. So very excited. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I think that's all, that's it for what's in the tube stuff. On for on to Let's Talk. Um, this month is the last month for Let's Talk for a while. This is the we're wrapping up the first core of season four. Uh, we have three episodes coming out this month, I believe. And then yeah, we take a like a one week off. But um, until we get to the other thing that's going to replace us on the Wednesday time slot. Um, I, I've had a blast doing Let's Talk this season. I, I love the new set. I, I love everything. We're going to do something a little bit more experimental with the, with um, episode 13 um, coming up. And then and it, hopefully it'll be fun. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, season four has been a blast so far to do. I feel very energetic. We've done some heavy hitting topics. We've got a couple more coming up. And um, yeah, been very happy. I don't have a return for Let's Talk season four second half yet. I, I think we'll talk more about that in the summer update when that will return. But until then, um, I think that's going to be it for that. Um, for a, for a while, so stay tuned. Still, a few more to go for the season for this for this first half of the season. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then, after a week break in May, we will finally be beginning history of total drama. Um, the island script is still being polished. Um, I know I, I know I said in the last update it's done. It's still being polished. I I, I have a couple more revisions to do, but um, it, it's being polished. Um, hopefully, we um, by the time May fifth rolls around, you'll be seeing the first part. Um, so we'll be doing weekly parts, so we won't be doing, like, um, our, like, I'm, I'm inspired by Lee Carr's History of Power News on this one, but, um, with those where I think he did it daily or when, as soon as they were done, they went uploaded. I don't want to constrict myself in that time period because, like, again, I work and I'm doing the other shows on top of it. So doing that every day or, like, consecutively editing that is going to burn me out. So I'm doing it weekly. So I don't have an exact final part count yet. I think we're aiming for six depending on how the final version goes. But until then, that's kind of like, we'll, we'll be going from May to June. I know that. So stay tuned for that. But I can't wait to finally get that um, stuff aired. I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, as for the um, Action X podcast, um, we've been very, very out of date. Like that, the, the whole plan has been like um, very out of whack. It's been very difficult to plan recording. So yeah, even from a work from home function, it is still difficult to align schedules. It, it still is. Um, we're still doing them. We're not stopping. Um, we know we said every other Saturday, then we posted the first episode in January. Then episode two finally came out in March. Um, it's just been busy. We've been very busy. I'm trying to get other guests on that are not just me and George. Cause me and George could, could do it, but um, I don't want to overwork George a lot. He's got his own stuff to do. So I don't want to overwork him as well. Plus we are friends. We still need to, you know, have general hangouts virtually that are not work related. So there you go. Um, but we are still rolling around with the Action X podcast. We we will be. Um, I got a few planned out. Hopefully soon. Um, then later. I don't think we'll have a schedule for that anymore because um, we've we've we tried the scheduling on that. So um, yeah. But I'm, very, I'm still very happy we've been able been able to do those. Um, but until then, um, yeah. We we're still gonna keep doing that. It's just right now we're just been very, very very difficult on that. Um, as for DVD unboxings, DVD hauls in general. Yeah, DVD unboxings. Um, in terms of the solo ones, it is very difficult to do this right now because my local Target, which again, as I said before, we are still in a pandemic. You still need to be safe out there. Be very careful on where you're going and such like that. Um, on that front, I, w I was being found that I found out that um, tar my Target was not receiving m much of the new TV shows that I would love to, would have loved to do unboxings for. So that was very unfortunate. And then by the time I figured that out, um, they don't have, I, I, by the time, like it, the, the time period is past, the time period is over. So mostly you're getting a DVD haul, a DVD drop unboxing every month at the, towards the end. Um, I, we done one early on for March because, um, I, I can't, I had a, I had a, I had a trip to go to and I, I brought back a bunch of stuff. So I, I just piled that into the middle. We will be back in the end of April for another one. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the update on that. Otherwise, 
Anything else that I'm thinking of? That's basically it. I mean, we did say we're going to do an Instagram page. That's still under construction. I still need to find time to get that settled in and get that all set up. I know that that should take like 10, 15 minutes, but I'm like, I, I, I want to make sure that's all said and done and like I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a tune with it. So that sort of thing. So stay tuned for that. As for Twitch, um, funny story. Um, I never really get it, went full in detail with this. So when it comes with Twitch, literally the second week we were into our Twitch initiative, um, the Elgato broke. I am not joking. The Elgato just fizzled out. It just would, it connects, it, you can transmit signals, but it will not be picked up by the computer. So um, at least for the time being, we are not doing Twitch um, recording for now. We As soon as I'm able to afford a new Elgato, we will be back on it. I... I've been playing a lot of games. I've been playing Marvel's Avengers. I've been playing Minecraft. I've been playing um, whatever suits my fancy. Because right now with um, video games in 2021, um, everything's being delayed. So this year's mostly backlog games, which I prefer because I have a shit ton of games that I have yet, I have yet to touch upon. So I'm very, very excited to, to, to play those. And hopefully someday in the foreseeable future, I, I will be able to stream those. But yeah, I believe that's it. Uh, again, remember, off the cuff, I have no script here, so I believe I covered all the points here. This update should last us till June when we come back for the summer. Um, but yeah, so until then, the, the schedule is still what's in the tube. Every Monday, Thursday, and Friday mornings, we will be adding a Saturday morning time slot uh, in May. So stay tuned for that. Um, Let's Talk is ending this month for the first half. We will be back for the second half um, sometime later this year. Um, History Told Drama starts on May 5th. And um, Action X Podcast will post... Whenever we are able to get an episode done, because literally, I would love to do more. It's just it's been very difficult, and I want to spread out the guests. So there you go. But yeah, I, I guess that's it. But thank you, thank you so much for watching this slate of the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Thank you for the support. And until next time, stay safe out there. Be good to each other. And as always, peace out.